Hey guys, welcome back. In the last video, you saw us 3D print an intake manifold. In this one, we're gonna be making it out of aluminum. All right, so today, what we're gonna do is start machining the parts for the intake. So we have all our aluminum laid out here, various thicknesses for all the different parts. We've printed our drawings. We have this full size sheet of uh, aluminum, which we're gonna use for the sides and the top. So we'll get to that. We already have templates made out for the parts we have to cut out. Today, the first thing we're just gonna do is we're going to lathe and finishing up the runners. So this is already one that we finished. Um, we're gonna take the aluminum tubing, we we'll cut it to length and then put it on the lathe and start machining the trumpet first. So um, let's go ahead and get started doing that. All right, so we're here in my garage. We're gonna start uh, cutting the runners. So this is the two inch piping that we're gonna use. Uh, it's just aluminum, uh, one and three quarters ID. Um, so we're gonna cut these to length and we're gonna be using the lathe to make the velocity stacks. So we've made this tool, this little insert, it's going on the tool post for the lathe, and it, it has the shape that we want for the, uh, for the bell on the, on the velocity stack. So uh, the idea is to just mount this on the lathe, turn it, heat it up a little bit, and then we're gonna smash this into, in, as far as we can until we get the right shape we want. So we're gonna get this uh, cut to size, and we'll put it on the lathe. So after we uh, expand it out, we gotta turn the OD to our specification, 3.25 inches. So we're gonna go ahead and turn the turn that now. Whoosh! Okay. Okay, okay. I'm seeing the vision now. This look pretty oh, good. We should try to polish with some, uh, with actual polish. We just used, uh, steel wool. yeah, some steel wool. Not even super fine steel wool, but we could probably make them look a little more shiny. Next step is going to be cutting these to the angle so they sit on the head properly, and then to the right length. So we actually have a little jiggy, a jig we made up. Just 3D printed this for the uh, bandsaw here. So this is going to hold the port at the correct angle. We're gonna hold it here and then this stop puts it at the correct length. And then we're gonna head and cut this. That'll give us all that properly. Um, oh, but first we gotta squish it. So this this is round right now while it's square to four and the four jaw chuck. Yeah, because a couple of them came loose. That was not fun. <laughs> 
So this doesn't fit on the port. The port's obviously an oval shape. There's a circle, so when you put it in, you can see how much we have overlap. So we're gonna smash this in the vise most likely. Uh, we'll have a stop to know how, how far to go. And then once we smash it, we'll cut it on that jig. What you come out with? That's pretty good, actually. All right, your muffs. Last one. Here's all the runners cut, the shape. They're all at the right angle. The shape is as close as we could get it to the port. We're gonna have to do a little bit of hand blending, but I think that was expected anyway, so. Yeah, it turns out it's a little bit larger than the port. We don't have the ported head with us right now, but compared to the stock one, it's a little larger. All right, so now we're gonna try and figure out how we're gonna do the uh, injector bung, and then these runners will be all done. All right, so we're here machining the last part of the uh, runners. We have our injector bungs here that we machined a couple weeks ago. We're setting everything up on the mill. So we got some parallels in the vise. We're gonna set this down on there, machine circles for this to slide into, and then we'll be welding this to there, and now finish off the runner. All right, let's get to it. Alright, so we're about getting ready to start cutting our first plate. The program is all in there, the shape is outlined, we got the plate set up there, all clamped down. So, you okay, guys should do everything in one operation, so let's hope this works. Oh. 
All right, so we just finished machining the flanges. There they are. Came out pretty good. This one, we uh, didn't go as deep on the first port, but we fixed it on the other ones. So we just have to press it out. It's a very thin, thin piece of aluminum left. So and these two are done, at least for now. The next thing we're gonna do now is go to the, uh, the bottom plates of the intake. So these here, uh, we've already marked where we need a machine and uh, we've already pre-drilled some holes so we can clamp it down on the bed and then start machining that perimeter and then the holes. So we're gonna set this up on the mill and keep on checking. We're done with all the machining, now we're going to work on the sheet metal parts. We got these two sides and the top to do. First we're going to start with the sides, they have a nice radius to them, so we're going to try to figure out how to get the radius into this sheet metal. And what we got is this tank here. So we're going to bend it around here and we'll show you how we're going to attempt that. It's not tall enough. I mean, we'll move them closer together. Should I make a template so we could see where it's closest to round uh, and see, okay. How big is that? How big is this? Mm -hmm. I don't like the one. Oh. That's not going in there, dude. Perfect? Yeah, it's perfect. Okay then. No. We're using our eight inch No. Guy. No, we're not. Look at that. Shh. I'm going to go print an eight inch Perfect. circle. Okay. So we ended up cutting a radius gauge and using that to measure the radius. Once we got that close, we cut a sliver out of that radius using the paper template we made up of the side pieces. But after cutting, we realized we didn't have enough material to make both sides. So we had to bend up a second piece. And what you're seeing here is that second piece of sheet metal and then we're laying that uh, template on it for the sides, marking it out, and we'll be cutting it out with an angle grinder. Safety is a number.
All right, guys. So we're done cutting all the parts for the intake. As you can see, we have them all laid out on the table. Uh, the next step is going to be making some jigs to hold pieces in place or in position before we start welding because we want to make sure everything fits perfect. Um, we ran into a couple issues with the intake flanges, so we had to make a couple extra. We messed up positioning the holes, but no big deal because we had enough material. So um, yeah, everything worked out great. Uh, we still have to hand port these flanges, but we're going to wait for the heads to get back from the shop to do that. So we're not going to start on that until uh, after that. For now, we're gonna start making some turkey and fill our bellies. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Butterfly in the sky, I can go twice as high.